Hey, welcome back to Meditation for Sage. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Please drop a like and a comment. If you find the information helpful, please share. <clears throat> Feel free to give your point of view. Just be respectful. Respect is number one. You know what I'm saying? That's how we can build and grow to love each other by respecting each other, okay? By the title you see, man, and I apologize, I had like mild COVID symptoms, me and my wife. So I'm gonna make this video kind of short, but very informative, man. I'm gonna speak to you guys, not talk to you. And this video is for anyone who's between the age of 17 and I think the cutoff age is, <coughs> excuse me, 35, 38. If you have a, a, <coughs> sorry. You have like, <clears throat> if you have a light criminal record, you can still join the military. The military was the best <clears throat> decision that I made in my life. Looking back, it was the worst. It felt like it, you know, because, you know, I never liked the military. I just liked it because I liked to travel, of course, but <clears throat> I was never... I was never, um, I was never fun to, fun to let people give me orders and talk to me any kind of way, yell at me. <coughs> <That's that>. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. But what I can tell you this is that the military, me being a dropout, the Air Force wouldn't take me, but the Army did. I didn't want to swim, so I didn't go to the Navy branch to the recruiting office, but the Army took me, and they take anything, people with felons, robberies, I think, no crack cocaine, they don't fool with, of course murder, but certain certain um, felonies they can, and misdemeanors they can, work, that they can work with and give you a waiver. So if you just sitting around the house, hanging on the block, ain't nothing wrong with that stuff, but if you just, if you're not using your time wisely, if you are a young man, and join the military, bro, and make some out of your life. You feel me? Um, if you out here committing crimes, man, don't don't sit here and get locked up. And then <laughs> you don't get, you're not making no money. You ain't got no freedom. The military is based on corrections, also, but at the same time, in this military, you have more freedom. You don't really have rights, but you have more freedom than in a jail or prison. You know. And the military, like I said, I met my wife, you know, uh, who's a foreigner, you know, here in the Philippines. That was a great, great um, blessing for me. Got three boys, you understand? Uh, I go to school with my, my GI benefits, GI bill benefits. I served eight years. So <clears throat> that's one thing I think the, the U.S government give you like almost 70,000 US dollars for your school, you know, for your house and they pay for everything if you make it out of the military honorable and not, you know, get in trouble. So, you ain't got to pay no student loans, you ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is freaking Hey, babe, come and say what's up real quick. Hello. Who I you met now? I still have uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I ain't going to BS to you guys, man. Like I said, bad decision. You know what I'm saying? She a little sick also, man. Here, back one more. You know what I'm saying? She a little sick also. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, With a mask on. Yeah. But like I say, man, it's better than just sitting around the house and sitting around the block. Wasting time. And then before you know it, a month, a week passed by, a month, six months, a year, five years passed by. You ain't making no progress. Your friends in and out. In and out. Now, if they going in and they ain't coming out productive, that's different. But some people just don't care. <clears throat> they don't want to put the mental um, strength into progress and change. They just, how they say, man, some people, it's, it's like whatever you think, you just do it and say it. Some people have no filter, some people have no roots, no backbone, no nothing. Like I said, the military was the best decision because I probably would be, you know, 
dead somewhere or locked away or was strung out, you know, with a past history of drugs. Um, you know, same story. A lot of my, you know, a lot of my peers passed away early, young, <clears throat> you know, coming from a small town. That's everybody's story, you feel me? So we all can relate to that. But if you're a young guy out here and you like playing with guns, toting guns, 30s, Dracos, man, sign up for the Army. Sign up for the military. At least you get paid for it. Sign up for infantry. At least you'll get paid for it. And you won't go to jail. Because they can put you in the position. They'll, they'll give you a job. 11 Bravo Infantry, where well, that's your main, fo your, your main focus is to shoot guns, blow up stuff. Then they ship you out to the war. And then you can shoot, you know, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, get shot at if you bought that life. But do something productive with your with your future, man, with your with your time. A lot of people getting killed early, young, early. And it's not really <clears throat> um it's it's senseless violence, man. Like I said, a lot of people now, teenagers, they have no guidance. But well, the military will give you that guidance, man. Like I said, with this channel here, we also give you guys guidance. We learn, we grow, and we try to help other people grow. And we grow off of your energy and your comments and your stories as well. So like I said, man, the military was the best thing. It got me away from, got me away from my environment. It got me away from myself. But well, the only problem with that is I became an alcoholic when I was in the Army. <laughs> A lot of people did, you know, but... You know, by the grace of God, I'm not really like that no more, you know. A um, couple issues, but at the same time, I finished my eight-year contract. I moved over here to the Philippines, met my wife in South Korea, got married. You know, I got three boys. And then I, I went to school over here for three and a half years. Got one more semester left. So, and then with the GI Bill, when you finish your three year, you can do three years. And then do the rest on reserve, National Guard, or you can do eight, eight, eight years. And then you can do school after that. You can go to school anywhere in the world that takes the GI Bill. They got like a location map. You can go anywhere, Guam, Hawaii, Philippines, Thailand, you know, anywhere, Fiji, anywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just think about that. It's better than just sitting around doing nothing. Mm-hmm. So, I hope this video helps. And if you are an adult with some children, teenage boys, girls, your daughter getting in trouble out here, she in the streets, you know, twerking, dropping like a hot, you know? Share this video with her. Your son out there doing that all kind of stuff. Your nephews, show these videos to them because I've been there. I've been there, man. I've been there. Told guns, drugs, you know, addicted. Friends lost everything, man, but God is great, though. You have the power, the choice to change, and choose your path. So God bless. Meditation for Sage. See the next video.